Well, dim lights set the mood for a romantic dinner, but there's no love when it comes to reading the menu. Sometimes it's just too dark to see it. Until now. In tonight's 615 Spotlight, CBS 2's Dave Malkoff takes us to the first restaurant with light-up menus. Sometimes it's the low-tech inventions that really wow the crowd. Inside Larson's Steakhouse on Ventura Boulevard, they have a player piano that's hooked directly into a wireless internet songbook. It plays 300 songs. Still, no one really cares. I'll have uh, the grilled salmon. Well, it's got everyone talking. When I first opened it, I said, oh my gosh. Is the menu, not what the is... steak or the sides it lists. Okay, spinach is good. Right. But the menu itself, it gets dark in here. Uh, you see people using their cell phones all the time, lighters to read menus. And here's the solution. Backlit Menus, a company in St. Augustine, Florida, introduced these at a Chicago restaurant convention. They ended up releasing them basically about a week before we opened up, so we were the first ones in the country to get these new, innovative, lighted menus. The far-sighted will still need their glasses. So I can see what I'm talking about. You see people closing them and opening them all the time. They don't just solve a centuries-old steakhouse problem. These things are all LED, so they're energy efficient too, lasting six to eight hours on one charge. Finally, those days of squinting. If it was small, tight, tight face. And lighting the menu for yourself may have just sizzled out. Uh, no flashlights needed here. There's still one thing I don't get about these light up menus. Why didn't I think of this? In Encino, I'm Dave Malkoff, CBS 2 News. That's a good call, David. I think we're all thinking that, right, Johnny? <laughs> Absolutely. That's a great idea. Yeah. So I'll have two of those. And is there any food here? You know. Yep. Yep. It's a nice idea. Well, let me tell you, al dining al fresco has its advantages today. <laughs> it stays warm if it's outside. The food, the heat.